Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Max Payne 3. And uh, this is where we're at now. We uh, finally got done with the uh, New Jersey bar fight extraordinaire that turned into a manhunt going across half the city. And now we're back in real time here. We've kind of gone back to life and back to reality. And now we're at these disgusting little rundown like houseboat things out in the middle of God knows where. And so now we got to wade through all the fodder pretty pretty uh, pretty quietly nice and easy oh hold on what was this looks like passos had brought us to the right place that was the chopper the commando sombra used to escape the nightclub attack if fabiana wasn't around here then at least someone that knew where she was had to be it's a great point well at least that's a plus at least we know that we didn't come here for no reason here I was, some hopped-up gringo a long way from home, making trouble the only way I knew. As the weather worsened, I caught a glimpse of the rusted shells of previous lives that had been lived out here in this swampy shithole, and I wondered if I would end up the same way, or what uh, would happen to that girl I was supposed to protect. You can't get so down on yourself, man. I mean, for God's sakes, you're, you're one single man. Protecting a protecting one girl from how many people did we fight off in that nightclub? Like fifty or a hundred or more? I mean, for crying out loud, man! Give yourself a break. I know it's what you get paid to do and everything, but you can't sit here and just like, you know, say, oh, the worst bodyguard in the world. It's like, well, for for crying out loud, man! Things could have been worse, and I don't know where the hell I'm going right now. I feel like there's something I'm missing here. We're going in here. Is that what's going on? There's just a little little area in here to go. So I, I feel like there's something that's just right out in front of my face and I can't see it. What the hell's going on here? This It seems way too just blatantly obvious that we go right in here. Oh. Of course. Of course we shoot the door open. I had no idea what lay ahead. And as much as part of me would rather be anywhere else... I knew this was where I had to be. I felt oh. responsible. I just had to fix the situation right here. Max, you know this is where you want to be. You want to have a summer condo out here right now. I mean, nothing says this is the nice place to have your house than having, you know, moldy, rusty boats with holes in the bottom of them with nothing to eat anywhere. That's, that's what you want to do with your life. Oh, here we go. Someone's gonna get their face shot out. Then I'm gonna wear it like a hockey mask. I couldn't understand them, but I didn't have to. Cheap hoods are the same from here to Timbuktu. The slab of meat on the boat was clearly the boss. Serrano, they called him. And it seemed that our suspicions were correct. Fabiana was here, somewhere further ahead. I had to find her quickly and quietly if possible. Last thing I wanted was a party with these clowns. Oh, Max, you know that you don't know what the word quietly means. That's that's not how you operate, senor. But I will shoot this guy in the head once and duck away. I don't even know what happened! Okay, anybody else? No? Oh, here they come! Yep, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> you really open up a can of worms, Max, but it's the way that we like to play. This is what it's all about. Nothing nothing says Max Payne more than saying, oh, I should probably be quiet about the way I go about doing this, and then you just go balls in all the way and just making as much noise as you can, because that is the way that Max loves to do his business. God, there's every single time that happens, it's so awesome. That just, it makes it so much more satisfying to me. Just totally, like, shooting a guy in the stomach and watching his innards just spilling out onto the concrete. The really dirty, muddy concrete. Alright, who's gonna be hiding out here? Anybody? No? Wow, I'm surprised. But this is where we're going now, huh? 
Where are you at, Fabiana? What is that? I'd seen enough to know that Fabiana was at oh, least alive, no. if not exactly well. The captives didn't look like they were quite the kind and gentle type. I had to find that room quickly. Dude, how could you do that to a girl, man? That's some fucked up shit. Oh, I'm gonna put my gun at you, man! This is it! I thought I heard someone in here! But I didn't! Or did you? Oh, of course you can see me! Yeah, exactly. I mean, at least we're perfectly safe right here. But he'll get back up. Why not? I guess your intuitions were correct, senor! You did see me there. Oh, come on, how did that miss him? There we go, you can stay down. And now for this young man. Gonna take you out to lunch in hell! Did I get you? Sure did. Where's this other guy at? Oh, there he is. Oh, come on. Perfect. Woohoohoo! Oh, I was really hoping that was gonna work out that way. Otherwise, it was just gonna be a. I didn't wanna think about what would be happening on that video feed now. Just my own imminent cameo. Slow dive, boom, wow, wow, boom, wow, bam, wow. Take it easy, ding, 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 ding. Slow dive. Break your elbow when you're hitting the ground. So, can I go I down here? Keep moving. I hope that I'd find Fabiana sooner than later, if at all. Hey, jeez. Okay, there's one thing to be said about at least, you know, giving me an opportunity to know that there's people there. But I guess if I can just kill them all that way, that's perfectly fine. Oh, no, 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 no. Jeez. Okay, hold on. You're gonna get it now. Guess who's gonna get shot in the face? Or not. There we go, that'll do. Definitely wasn't very clean and neat like I wanted it to be, but that's okay. Max never does things the clean way anyways. What's uh ooh. It's one of these guys that yeah, he's got an assault rifle. We'll definitely roll with that. We haven't really done a whole lot of things with assault rifles in this game so far, have we? Well, we're gonna definitely gonna do it now. Guess what? I win! Oh, oh, oh. Come on. There we go. Thank God we have the benefit of painkillers. Where do you think you're going? God, that guy kicked my ass, too. Oh, it's because he had a shotgun. No wonder why. Well, I gotta figure out where all these guys are hiding. Alright, it's not really working out. Oh no! There was a guy over there. Damn it. Did not see him there. Son of a bitch. That's the th Oh, hey! Yeah! Nope, nope, you gotta get up. You have got to get up now. Boy, this certainly wasn't as, as clean and neat as my first job doing this. Jeez, I'm crow. Okay, now he's dead. Thank God. I'm beginning to wonder that maybe this isn't a very good idea to have these guns. They're not very accurate. That's one major problem with it. But then again, they totally rip people's ball sacks off of their body. Then you can go staple them on the bulletin board. Oh, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Jeez. For crying out loud, I just wanted you to die already. Give me a break for a second. Whoa! 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 Where was that guy at? 
You about blew my damn face off. There we go. So one thing I don't like about levels that are so enclosed like this. Oh, that's the guy that killed me. Didn't even know he was there. Little asshole. Let's, we got it. Oh, no. Where is this guy? Who the hell is shooting at me? Oh, there he is. I'm gonna get you. Really? Okay. I guess he's just invincible now. There we go. That will work. There's a lot of those guys with those with those guns. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> wow, you can be more dramatic about your death there, buddy. <laughs> he finally got me! Ah, damn it! Okay, let's let's switch weapons here because we're definitely running out of ammo. Whoa, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> sort of running around with a with an assault rifle, and then I just go kill a guy with a little little dinky pistol. If I, I mean, if I were to die in like a huge firefight like this, the last way that I would want to die would be probably from like a silenced pistol. Just like. Doesn't really sound like a very badass way to die, you know? Like a guy wanna be like, oh he he took he took about thirty assault rifle rounds to the face, you know, and be like, oh he he died he died the, the hardcore way instead of like he got shot by a silenced pistol. Yeah. One of those. Okay, let's let's move here. I'm just looking for anywhere there might be some trace of painkiller somewhere. Maybe in one of these in this place here. That might be my my uh, one opportunity that was the chair that she had been held in i had just missed them i can see her purse down there on the ground wonder what's in it <laughs> did i just hear a power saw watch tv what do we got a dor com a idade vem a dor é dor de cabeça dor de estômago dor de estômago dor nas juntas Dor de ressaca. É por isso que existe Interfectum. Interfectum? Interfectum é um analgésico forte para dor forte. I don't know exactly what that means, but I think that means some type of like pain reliever. I'm guessing. Violence erupting in Panama, where citizens are still reeling from this attack two months ago. Colombian paramilitary group United Souls of the People, or AUP have been waging a campaign of violence and terror in the area around Vestidas, despite government attempts to stabilize the region. Staying in Latin America, an explosion of violence in Brazil's largest city, Sao Paulo... Wow, it looks so real. It's wild. ...initiatives to stop feuding between favela gangs and the police have completely failed. Some local activists blame much of the city's problems on the activities of right-wing groups Cracho Preto and Nova Garda, who they accuse of vigilante cell attacks in the areas of the city where police have lost control. Some human rights organizations report a slew of missing persons in the city. A topic that... Oh my god, it's so sad. Aww, won't somebody find me? This turmoil is shaping up to be a hot topic in next year's mayoral election. Oh, yeah, look at Miss Machado. She's got the lead over Victor Bronco. Well, there may be some political storm clouds out there, but the sun is shining in many regions today. Over to Marisol with the weather. He's like, and I just totally wasted about three minutes of my life. She was. They'd been making a reality show starring Sao Paulo's favorite housewife. Probably thought it would grease the wheels with the ransom money. But it only made me want to shove the cash down their throats. I think down their throats would have been probably too generous for them, Mr. Maxwell. Okay, let's let's keep going here real quick. Let's see if we can make some more progress. I'm really not digging this whole power saw thing. I, every time I hear it, it makes me think they're chopping um, Fabiana's bones up and making some bone broth soup. So we need to kind of work with haste here. The last thing I need to do see is walking through that door and having her arm getting chopped off or something. 
Turn your damn flashlight off, Max, for God's sakes, man. There she was, right in front of me. The drunk fool in me wanted to make a play. But I had just He's about still drunk? to know that I'd end up with another dead girl in my arms if I did. Alright guys, I know this is kind of a weird place to stop, but I know that if I don't stop here, then it's going to get all sorts of ugly, because it's going to end up being like a 30 minute video. So, we're going to stop right here, go figure in another area that's completely infested with people. But, when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Max Payne 3, we get to deal with this chop shop full of dudes trying to restore a boat that we're going to end up killing them all in about three seconds, so it's going to be awesome. So, until then, this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching, and when we come back, we got to save Fabiana. Take care, everybody. Bye.